And Courtney, Governor Ron DeSantis giving that press conference earlier with the latest numbers on power outages across our state. Still many people in the dark right now and thousands of homes these past few days still dealing with the aftermath of Hurricane Ian as it moved into Florida, leaving devastation in its path. We've been telling you all about it. Every little detail that electric company crews are working to flip the switches back on. Here's the latest online outages maps for most of our Tampa Bay area. As of 1230 this afternoon, over 160,000 Tampa electric customers are experiencing outages. Take a look at the map there. Oh, too many dots to count there, but we, we the, the, those numbers are listed for us. Those colorations show just how bad the power issues are in each area. Luckily, we're mainly seeing those green dots as you see there. Over to Duke Energy now as of 1230. This afternoon, just 15 minutes ago, 440,000 people across the state are without electricity. And you can see 83,000 in Pinellas County area alone as we zoom in just a little bit there. As for customers of Florida Power and Light, as of noon, 224,000 people in the Tampa Bay area are also going through outages. So a lot of people, likely people you know, people uh, that you care about, restoration efforts are underway. So you can see this video and get the very latest numbers and crews with Duke Energy working to restore power to a neighborhood in Sumter County. Take a look at that there. A contractor explains what motivates them through long hours and powerful storms. These guys, they, they live for these storms and they really love to help people out whenever they're going through hard times and, and trying to get their power back on to get them you know, as comfortable as they can. We've heard many of you asking how you can help your neighbors to the south and uh, the, the help is pouring in Josh and Courtney. Yeah. We just 